Today, I'm cooking a common dish in Malaysia, a delicious fish curry. This recipe is for four to five servings. The ingredients needed are 550 grams of fish fillet washed with salt, 330 grams of brown egg plants, 175 grams of red onions, 1 liter of water, 2 stems of curry leaves, 200 grams of okra, 5 tablespoons of tamarind water, 3 tablespoons of cooking oil, half teaspoon of cumin seed, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of garam masala, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, 5 tablespoons of curry powder. I recommend ala kapas as it is not too spicy. This is what it looks like. 130 grams of tomatoes, 100 ml of concentrated coconut milk, 1 small piece of cinnamon stick, 2 star anise, 2 cardamom pots, 5 pieces of clove, 2 tablespoons of garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of ginger paste, 1 green chili, half tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of salt, and 2 stalks of cilantro leaf for garnishing. The full list of the ingredients is in the Seymour link. Start with marinating the fish with salt. Sprinkle a quarter tablespoon of salt on the fish fillet and rub. Turn the fish to the other side and repeat with quarter tablespoon of salt. Leave it aside. Cut tomato in wedges and eggplants too. Remove the stems. Cut the eggplants into wedges like this and soak it in basin filled with water. This is to reduce the oxidation rate of eggplants after cutting it. Alright, these are the eggplants soaked in the water. Leave it aside. Next, cut the red onion into small pieces for easy blending. Alright, let's blend it. Any blender can be used since there is not too much. I will use a hand blender. It is done. Let's cook. Switch on the heat. Wash the spices and cumin seed in the strainer. Then dry roast them for about 2 minutes or until the aroma is released. This should be okay. Add in all the cooking oil. It will get hot really fast as the pan is already preheated. Add in the curry leaves and stir fry for 30 seconds. Next, add in ginger paste and garlic paste. Continuously stir for 2 minutes or until garlic and ginger release their aroma. This is also to prevent the paste from getting stuck and burning at the bottom of the pan. After 2 minutes, add in the blended red onions and stir for about 15 to 20 seconds or until well combined. Next, add in curry powder, garam masala, turmeric powder, coriander powder, and tamarind water. Stir until well combined and the curry powder has released its aroma. This will take around 2 minutes. This should be okay. All the ingredients are well combined and the curry paste is getting thicker. The fragrance of the curry powder is so lovely. Add in 1 liter of water. Stir until curry paste has dissolved and is well combined. Alright, this looks great. Cover the pan and cook for 5 minutes or until curry comes to a boil. After 5 minutes, see, the curry is boiling vigorously. Add in the eggplants. Stir to submerge them into the curry. Cover the pan and simmer for 3 more minutes. After 3 minutes, the eggplants are cooked and the curry is boiling vigorously. Add in the fish one by one. Do not stir when adding the fish to prevent them from releasing their fishy smell into the curry. Stirring before the fish is cooked allows the fishy liquids to mix with the gravy, impacting the whole pot. Add in all grass, tomatoes, sugar, salt, green chilies, and 100 ml of coconut milk. Cover the pot and simmer for 3 more minutes. 
After 3 minutes, the curry is boiling vigorously. The fish and vegetable should be well cooked by now. Now we can stir to mix the vegetable and coconut milk. Give it a taste. Wow, very tasty and perfect. At this stage, more seasoning can be added as preferred, but for this, it is already delicious. Switch off the heat, garnish with some cut cilantro, give it a gentle mix, cover the pan, and we are done. A delicious fish curry is ready. This can be eaten immediately, and it will also taste better the next day. This is best served with white rice. Let's eat! This curry is really delicious, and the fish is so nice and fresh. It goes so well with the white rice. I will definitely be back for the second serving. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!